For weeks, the hacked emails from WikiLeaks have dropped bits and pieces of information from the Clinton campaign. Tonight, we asked Chief National Correspondent Ed Henry to pull the key revelations together in one place. Here is his report. With WikiLeaks spilling out literally dozens and dozens of secrets about the inner workings of Hillary Clinton's campaign, plus new information about pay-to-play deals at the Clinton Foundation, these are the types of revelations that could have threatened to sink her campaign in a normal year. It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah, because you'd be in jail. But this, of course, is not a normal campaign year. And some of the most controversial Clinton emails are getting lost in the swirl of he said, she said. Consider this. Leaked emails reveal behind closed doors Clinton is moving way left on immigration. Once telling bankers in a paid speech, she dreams of, quote, open trade and open borders. A far cry from how she frames her position in public. We need to secure our borders. I'm for it. I voted for it. I believe in it. Yet, according to television transcripts reviewed by Fox, the Clinton campaign has been confronted on the contradiction just four times since that immigration email leaked 10 days ago. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Another email that has escaped much scrutiny was this one from Clinton's failed 2008 presidential bid, which shows her allies privately raising the fact that then-Senator Obama had ties to Muslims. In the last week, friends of Clinton have insisted this is the work of an outside Democratic super PAC that was merely preparing for possible attacks that Republican John McCain could use in the general election. Although the documents circulated by these Clinton allies also floated other negative attacks on Obama for his support of gay adoption and past cocaine use. Certainly a sharp contrast to the more cozy relationship that Clinton now wants to highlight with President Obama in this campaign. That we are able to hopefully determine the motivation of uh, Saeed Farouk and his wife. Another email lost in the WikiLeaks deluge showed that when 14 people were killed and 22 injured in the San Bernardino terror attack, Clinton staffers were upset that a white man had not committed the mass shooting. Upon learning the name of the suspect was Saeed Farouk, Clinton spokesperson Karen Finney wrote, Damn! Campaign chairman John Podesta piped in, Better if a guy named Saeed Farouk was reporting that a guy named Christopher Hayes was the shooter. And then there are the emails where Clinton herself tells Podesta that Qatar and Saudi Arabia are providing financial and logistical support to ISIS. But a separate email shows the Clinton Foundation had no problem taking a $1 million check from the Qatari government. Officials demanding five minutes of FaceTime with Bill Clinton after committing to the funds on the former president's birthday. Did you know about Hillary's Clinton use of a private email server? No. While she was Secretary of State? No. And a leaked email between Podesta and Clinton aide Cheryl Mills cast doubt on whether the president downplayed that a bit too much. A March 2015 email shows those Clinton aides trying to decide whether to turn over the president's emails with Clinton, which certainly implies that they had some sort of communications on her non-governmental email account. Did the president lie there? Well, I, I don't know, because if the, I, I actually do not know. And with WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange promising he's got more emails that will be leaking out before the election. Sure, that may put more attention on the Clinton campaign. On the other hand, it may just overwhelm the previous emails that have already come out and gotten very little scrutiny. Britt? Ed, thanks for that.